वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द एग्रीगेट्स एंड टिम्बर एज अ बिल्डिंग मटेरियल्स लेट्स डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द एग्रीगेट्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एग्रीगेट्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एग्रीगेट्स बेस्ड ऑन यूनिट वेट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एग्रीगेट्स बेस्ड ऑन साइज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एग्रीगेट्स बेस्ड ऑन शेप सो दिस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ categories are there in which uh, aggregates can be classified classification based on a unit weight first one is normal weight aggregate the commonly used aggregate that is sands and gravels crushed rocks such as granite basalt quartz sandstone and limestone and brick ballast etc which have specific gravities between 2.5 to 2.7 produce concrete with unit weight ranging 23 to 26 kilo newton per meter cube second is heavy weight aggregate the density of heavy weight aggregate is about 1200 kg per meter cube concrete having unit weight of about 30 31 35 38 40 47 and 57 kN m3 can be produced by using typical limonite barite magnetite hematite third one light weight aggregate the density of light weight aggregate is about 5000 kg per m3 the light weight aggregate having unit weight of 12 kN per m3 are used to manufacture the structural concrete masonry blocks of reduction of self weight of structure classification based on size first one fine aggregates we call it as a sand the size of aggregate 4.75 mm and smaller is called as fine aggregate sand is generally considered to have lower limit of about 0.07 mm material between 0.06 to 0.02 mm is classified as silt particles smaller than 0.02 mm are termed as clay loam is soft deposit consisting of sand silt and clay and in about equal proportion okay so in the photo you can see the sand is there and in the construction it is expected that the sand should should be well graded that means uh, sand which is ranging between this below the 4.75 mm that should uh, also have the variation in the sizes it is it, it should not be of the same size ag, uh, particles coarse aggregates the aggregate bigger than 4.75 mm are known as coarse aggregate the graded coarse aggregate is described by its nominal size that is 40 mm 20 mm 16 mm and 125 mm etc so in the picture you can see a coarse aggregate is shown all in aggregate it is the combination of both coarse and fine aggregate it is not used for making high quality concrete it is a mixture of fine aggregate and coarse aggregate classification according to shape first one rounded shape the aggregate with rounded particles found in the river or sea shore gravel has a minimum voids ranging 32 to 33% the only disadvantage is that interlocking is the interlocking between its uh, particles is less and hence the development of bond is poor making it unsuitable for high st strength 
concrete and pavement so you can see in the picture rounded shape aggregates have been shown irregular aggregate naturally irregular or partly shaped by attrition having rounded edges the aggregates having partly rounded particles peat sand and gravel has higher of heights ranging from 35 to 38 percent the required more cement paste for the given workability so you can see the it is a, of a irregular shape size uh, this particular aggregate shown in the this picture so what will happen it will require more cement for filling in the uh, this gap and to increase the workability and as uh, no workability is a, it is the ease by which uh, the concrete can be mixed and placed in the uh, required format angular aggregate the aggregate with sharp angular and rough particles crushed rocks has a maximum of voids ranging from 38 to 40 percent the interlocking between the particles is good it is suitable for high strength concrete so in the picture you can see angular aggregates are shown but uh, uh, this is uh, this kind of aggregates are expected because they are binding with the other uh, fine aggregate and the cement it is better and interlocking is better uh, that is uh, leading to a good compressive strength flaky aggregates an aggregate is termed flaky when its uh, least dimension thickness is less than the three-fifth of its mean dimension the presence of these particles should be restricted to 10 to 15 percent so okay, you can see these are the flaky aggregates are there but these are not expected in the concrete physical and engineering properties of aggregates size the largest size which may under the range of fine aggregate is 4.75 mm using largest side size will give a more dense concrete but a mixture of all sizes is more desirable and more economical shape shape of aggregate is plays an important role in coarse aggregate rather than fine aggregate strength the strength of aggregate alone cannot ensure strength of concrete strength of coarse aggregate is more important fourth one surface structure generally rough surface aggregate is preferable to smooth aggregates this property is also related to related with the coarse aggregate specific gravity specific gravity of aggregate is the ratio of its density to the density of water bulk density it refers to the density of aggregate considered along with volume of voids or empty spaces between the particles the density of sand falls between 17 to 25 kilonewton per meter cube next is the water absorption generally for sand water absorption is negligible it is desirable that water absorption should be kept minimum next one is the soundness this refers to expansion and contraction of the aggregate when subjected to temperature variation the next material that we are going to discuss is timber in that we are going to discuss uh, regarding the sources types classification characteristics advantages and uses growth and uh, structure of exogenous plants and uh, other parts uh, uh, these uh, depicts onwards okay these are uh, in the uh, very depth but we are going to discuss today wood based products or you can say the artificial uh, 
wood in that we are going to discuss regarding the veneer plywood boards laminate boards etc physical properties of timber density light very light density less than 550 kg per meter cube for example bamboo moderately heavy density 550 kg per meter cube to 750 kg per meter cube for example devdar heavy to very heavy density greater than 750 kg per meter cube for example saw so these are the types of uh, various uh, trees you can see from which we are getting the timber bulk, bulk density defined as the mass of many particles of the material divided by the total volume of volume they occupy depends on the voids present in the wood next one is the moisture content wood is liable to shrink or swell with the movement of moisture increase or decrease shrinkage in a reduction of linear and volumetric dimension due to drying of the moisture next one mechanical and thermal properties of timber or wood as a wood is natural material there is different mechanical properties for wood mechanical properties are governed by the soil type climate and other factors properties offered by the specific gravity moisture content knots and other defects wood cannot resist fire burn easily it will be better to take precautions to save uh, timber structure from thermal action characteristics of good timber it should be in uniform color strong durable workable should be straight and compacted uh, fibers fresh cut surface sweet smelling that it should give sweet smelling when uh, struck with each other give clear ringing sound it should be relatively heavier free from uh, all types of defects and diseases uh, of timber like knots okay there should, there should there are many types of defects so that it should be free from the different types of knots planning surface <coughs> bright appearance with the silky texture sawing when you are cutting the timber cut with the saw not clogging it should not clog clogging become or cause to become a obstructed firm adhesion of fibers and uh, compacted uh, medullary days rays so here uh, the fibers that should be compacted and uh, timber should be well seasoned advantages of timber it should be strong and flexible it should uh, be corrosion its uh, resistance should be excellent higher stock and impact strength quick and easy to build cheaper than other types of building materials easy to heat and uh, cool depending on the weather more eco friendly than eco friendly than the other materials can last many years if proper maintenance is carried out availability source and uh, transportation Uh, that is easy strength light weight and higher strength is there easy to handle handle and uh, plant easily joining of the timber elements is simple repair and modification it is easy superior uh, thermal insulation sound and electrical resistive uses furniture and decorative purposes uses of timber it is mainly used for the following categories of works it is used for the construction purposes including building construction house house posts beams rafters bridges piles posts etc it is used for the furniture and cabinet making it is used for it is used for furniture and cabinet making it is used for the door and window frames uh, it 
कैन बी यूज फॉर द फॉर्मर्क एंड स्कैफोल्डिंग इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर हेवी पैकिंग केसेस सच एज मशीनरी एंड सिमिलर स्टोर्स इट इज यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एग्रीकल्चरल इम्प्लीमेंट्स एंड टूल हैंडल्स इट इज यूज फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ विनियर्स प्लाईवुड्स एंड बोर्ड्स एसेट्रा नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग सम वुड बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट्स और वी कैन कॉल इट इज आर्टिफिशियल टिम्बर फर्स्ट वन इज अ विनियर्स विनियरिंग इज अ प्राइमरी प्रोसेस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वुड्स प्रिपेयर्ड बाय स्लाइसिंग एंड सोइंग ऑफ वुड एंड थिन शीट्स ऑफ पॉइंट फोर एम एम टू सिक्स एम एम दीज आर ऑफ अ सुपेरियर क्वालिटी एंड यूज फॉर इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ प्लाईवुड्स बैटर्स लेमिन बोर्ड्स एसेट्रा यू कैन सी दीज आर स्ट्रीप्स ऑफ द वुड्स ओके और इट इज अगर स्लाइड्स स्लाइसिंग इज डन प्लाईवुड प्लाईवुड इज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड वुड वुड पैनल फ्रॉम द फैमिली ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर बोर्ड सच एज मीडियम डेंसिटी फाइबर बोर्ड एम डी एफ पार्टिकल बोर्ड चिप बोर्ड एसेट्रा मेड फ्रॉम द थीन शीट्स ऑफ वुड विनियर प्रिपेयर्ड बाय ग्लोइंग टुगेदर ऑड नंबर्स ऑफ विनियर्स विथ ग्रेन डिरेक्शन ऑफ कोर ब्लॉक एट राइट एंगल टू एडजस्टन विनियर और प्लाय दीज आर यूज इन मेकिंग पार्टीशन फर्निचर सीलिंग डोअर पैनलिंग एंड फॉर्मर कॉन्क्रीट फॉर्म फॉर द कॉन्क्रीट बैटन बोर्ड इज अ सॉलिड ब्लॉक विथ कोर ऑफ सॉन थीन वुड द थिकनेस ऑफ कोर इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम टोटल थिकनेस ऑफ बोर्ड इज अबाउट फिफ्टी एम एम इट इज लाइट एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग इट डो नॉट क्रैक एंड और स्प्लिट इजिली इट इज यूज फॉर द पार्टीशन वॉल फर्निचर शटर्स पैकिंग एसेट्रा नेक्स्ट वन इज अ लेमिन बोर्ड इन द फिगर यू कैन सी दैमिन बोर्ड कंसिस्ट ऑफ कोर ऑफ स्ट्रिप्स इच नॉट एक्सिंग सेवन एम एम इन थिकनेस दीज स्ट्रिप्स आर जॉइंट बाय मीन्स ऑफ अ टू टू फाइव the uh, these strips are joined together with the two uh, faces veneer lamin boards are used for the furniture partitions doors windows ceilings etc impreg timber or impregnator timber timber which has made flame resistance fungi resistance and uh, insect proof by forcing into it under vacuum or pressure a flame retardant or a fungal or insect poison so uh, it is a, a good type of artificial product compact timber so in the figure you can see processed wood uh, whose cells are impregnated with the resin and compressed to reduce uh, shrinking and swelling and to increase the uh, density and strength compreg is a very uh, special wood composite material with exquisite uh, mechanical property properties uh, compreg indicates uh, that it is uh, both impregnated and uh, compressed it is used in applications uh, where long durability hardness and dimensional stability is required for example gears rolls and Uh, wear strips of individual conveyors uh, wood working uh, machine tables regardless of uh, of its uh, hardness it is comparatively easy to uh, machine which is uh, which makes uh, it an excellent choice for manufacturers of exclusive wood working products so uh, today it is uh, uh, for these two materials uh, it is sufficient uh, discussion but again in the coming uh, lectures we'll uh, discuss regarding the remaining materials 
so all are uh, requested to stay tuned with all the lectures thank you very much for joining